In this video, we're going to see how we can easily update our Themora plugins in case we have the updated version in our computer. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing WordPress tutorials. So in this video, we're going to see how we can update easily a plugin or a theme if we already have the zip file of the latest version downloaded to our computer. Uh, we may find ourselves in a situation that we cannot automatically update a plugin or a theme. Uh, maybe the repository of WordPress is not working for some reason. Maybe we have bought the product and we downloaded the newest version and we want to update it. Or uh, any other reason, the license is not working correctly or some other cases. It doesn't matter. So uh, there is one way that you can do it by going into the cPanel, into File Manager. You will navigate yourself to the WP Content file, then Plugin or Theme, and find the folder of the theme or plugin that you want. Delete that, upload the latest version of the theme or plugin, and then unzip it. Now, this is the standard procedure that you do, but you can do it uh, with another way that it's more easier. Let's go and see what it happens when I just go and click the Add New here. As you can see now, we have the Oxygen here that it's version 3.1 and I know for a fact that we have the latest version, which is 3.1.1. It doesn't say anything here because I haven't set the license in this test uh, website and that's why it doesn't check for a latest version. So let's go to the Add New and we're going to set upload, we're going to click search, sorry for the Greek, but this is search, and let's go and search for oxygen here. Let's go for O, oxygen, I'm going to select, I'm going to hit install now, and I know that I will get an error because it will see that it will already have a folder with the oxygen name, and I will get just a uh, notification that says it found something else, and plugin installation failed because the destination folder already exists. So I'm going to install a new plugin and the name of the plugin is uh, Easy Upgrade, no miso. Uh, I think, sorry, <laughs> sorry for the Greek. Okay, upgrade. I'll just hit. Okay, Easy Themes and Plugins Upgrade. Uh, usually I just type uh, upgrade and plugin. I just type plugin upgrade and this is the one that I'm talking about as you can see 100,000 installation and it has eight months to be updated now uh, before it was last updated it had about two or three years to be updated I know it's a long way but I just keep it uh, not installed in my WordPress installation I just install it, update what I want to update, and then delete it uh, immediately. But it works with no problem. I have used it many times. I'm using it for two years now, and I didn't have any problems at all. So let's go again to a new. As you can see here, it's update. It's installed. It, Easy themes and plugins upgrade. Let's go and add new. And then let's go and upload the plugin again with the Oxygen plugin. Okay, install now. And uh, what it will do, it will uh, zip the previous version. It will say to me if I want to download the previous version for security reasons. And then go ahead and activate the latest one. Just like that, it will do everything for me. And keep in mind, of course, that it you don't have to use Oxygen <laughs> just to use this plugin. You can do it with every theme or plugin that you are having. And as you can see, back up the old version of the plugin. And here's where you can download the zip file of the previous version of the 3.1. And then I can go ahead and activate the plugin just like that. Okay, and as you can see now, the oxygen here says 3.1.1. Of course, before any update, you should always have a backup in case something goes wrong. And if it's a major update, you should update in a test environment. 
a staging environment or something else. So that's all for the video, a small five minutes video for this. It's a very easy way and you can do it on your own. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.